my previous videos. You know how I was talking about where I need to invest in a good gaming chair, a new mic because I'm using a headset mic, a new webcam because I really don't like my laptop webcam. I couldn't figure out what I should get first. So, just got done recording some Resident Evil 3 footage. Um, trying to get all the Charlie dolls and whatnot. And I go to watch one of the videos. And there's no voice. My headset died. At one point. I have no idea when. But it died. I'm so mad. I have no idea how much footage. Because I know one full video and I have... It wasn't over an hour long. Um. So yeah. I was talking to myself. Literally talking to myself. Because you know, I'm talking to myself right now. But you guys are going to listen to it later. All of that. I was talking to the fucking walls. I was talking to the animals in the house. I'm so mad. <laughs> By the way, hi, it's your friendly neighborhood zombie who's currently going to lose her fucking mind. I can't believe that. I should have known better to check. So right now I have my headset plugged in. Plugged in. Charging. Charging. What? Who made headsets that need to be charged? It's not even cordless. I, I have to have it plugged in to a controller or the... But, uh, computer or whatever. There's no Bluetooth in it. Shouldn't need to be charged, but yet here we are. I don't know. I don't get me wrong. I do love this headset. Um, I love how noise canceling it can be. I love not necessarily using the mic to record audio for gameplay, but you know how you can hear yourself sorry hit the thing um so you know sometimes you can't really hear yourself talk when you have certain headsets on but you can adjust this to be able to kind of hear yourself talk and maybe that's why it needs batteries i don't know but yeah yeah i'm so mad i'm so mad i can't believe it so yeah i think i think I do think that a uh, microphone will be the first thing we get. I'll, I'll have to deal with the uncomfy chair for a little while longer. I'll have to deal with the ugly webcam for a little while longer. It's no biggie. It happens. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting a new mic first. This is ridiculous. Hopefully one that has a mute button. I don't have to stick with this. And it'll be a lot easier because I can... Uh... Not really even need a headset on, I don't think. So, yeah. It'll be. It'll be fun. So, anyway. Um, we are playing a nice little game called. Well, I'm assuming it's a nice little game. I don't know. Uh, everybody's gone to the rapture. I. I think I've heard of this game. I think. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this game is about. I don't know if we're going to play the whole entire game. I wanted to play something new. Uh, something I haven't played before. Something I'm not too familiar with. And uh, this happened to be on PS Now. So we are going to play it. Um, yeah. The... Uh, do you guys know what Siren Head is? That thing at the top? It reminds me of Siren Head and I don't like it. Siren Head freaks me out. Uh, but yeah, I don't- I really don't know what this game's about. I don't know what the objective of the game is about. I don't know exactly what we're doing in the game. So, hopefully it's not too bad. It's gonna- Take a bit to load, I would imagine. But yeah, so we kind of finished Resident Evil 3 in terms of like the whole game. And then I was sticking around and for got all the Charlie dolls, 
and uh, I'm trying to get the infinite rocket launcher, so I've been recording that. But I needed an actual game, you know, so, and, uh, taking a break from Fable 2, because for some reason the game won't stop freezing. So, I'm not really into dealing with it. So I'm going to try to find something else, and this is it. Why is she sleeping so much? I got distracted by the beast. She's weird. Um, so yeah. I have absolutely no idea what we're doing. This is Dr. Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. The lady who looks like you so much. It's all over. I'm the only one left. That's terrifying. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is pretty. I like this style. I don't know if the whole game's in this style. The central seems really pretty. Huh. I can move. Okay. I was like, wait, wait, what's going on? Oh. Interesting. I looked at the controls, but just to make okay. Yeah. So just super, super simple controls. Okay. Yeah. Alright. That was really pretty. I... I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. Hmm. If I'm right, we should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event. That's pretty. I fucking love we don't understand space. It yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand. You are here. You can use them to find what you're looking for. Yes. I should be listening to her, shouldn't I be? They're all here. Who's here? The answers are in the light. That's terrifying. What about that tape? Can I get that tape? I'm going to continue to broadcast. Interesting. Can I add, can I add pick stuff up? So I can't go through there. I, I can't pick up those tools. Ballas Observatory. That's a really interesting logo. I dig it. Yeah, no. Um, I did a lot of art classes in school, in high school and stuff, and um, a lot of graphic design type stuff. So, I get really, not like into logos, but I like looking at logos and kind of seeing how it would represent the company that it is representing and how close of a representation it is. And that's not that. I can't take the bike. Nothing, anything back here I can take? A brick? Something? I'm, I'm trying to interact with stuff and it's... Um, I really need to remember to look to see when games are in first person. Um, cause I, this? This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. 
Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. What does that mean? Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Why am I outside? And remain civil and calm. Stay tuned to this station. This... This is a... Well, let me outside then. Okay, so it, it is like Bill... Hold on. Because I feel like I'm trying to run... Hold R2 to build speed. I am holding, but I'm not running. I'm getting very anxious now. Um... Because d I didn't think I'd be uh, freaked out, but now I am. I don't know what I thought this game was about, but I d uh, not this. What's that noise? What are those noises? Here, please hold. You're gonna hear a headphone noise, and I really apologize. Okay, I apologize. Oh, oh, hold on. I'm trying to get it as off my ears as possible so I can hear what's going on. Um, I'm really nervous. I can't, it's not letting me like pick anything up. It's a lock. What? What? I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Ah, so. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Okay, can we just talk about this? No, Stephen, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays, I'm heading up to Tower 6. Okay. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah. Come on, let's get started. What just happened? What? What was that? What? Who's dinging me now? I don't... What is this game about? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. What the... F I, I really don't know what this game is about. I really don't understand or I don't think it... I just popped up that I was saving what is that 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 thing? Why am I so scared? Guess let's go. Jeremy. Sorry I keep pausing. I just I am so <laughs> confused right now. <laughs> Cause like all these like 
emergency broadcasts and stuff. It freaks me out. But, like... It, the music is so, like, pretty, and the environment is so pretty. Okay, it wants me to follow him. But... Oh, excuse me. I get, like, hiccups or something. That is so terrifying! Maybe I should really look up to see what this game is about first. Maybe that will help me be less frightened. Who's that? Hello? Kate, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm gonna call Clive back and I'm gonna force him to order the strike. Clive O'Brien? Don't see what other choice we have. For God knows uh, if can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? What's going on? Okay, I'm gonna look up to see what this game is about real quick. Okay. I am back. Alright, so, I kind of just glanced at the Wikipedia page for this. Um, so basically you're just trying to figure out why everybody went missing. So I don't know if there's really any enemies in this. I'm very terrified though. So, but apparently there's also another game. Those are itches. Called Dear Esther. Also made by... What was it? Chains room? It said in the beginning. And, um, it's supposed to be like the uh, precursor to this. So, I really don't understand. Don't be so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. Oh, come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core ideas sound, you just got the numbers slightly wrong. Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. Oh, I'm here, right? Oh, she got it? Okay. We're together. You and me. Who's next up? The alignment event tomorrow. <clears throat> It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Bless you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. So sweet. Look on the bright side, uh, around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> hey, that. So I guess you basically follow those orbs of light and kind of get... ...story. So this is basically a very... Derek, you massive dickhead winker. Brilliant. Uh. Interesting. So. I guess you just figure out why everybody went missing. You know, I keep thinking that there's like stuff I'm supposed to 
do or press or grab because you know it keeps it, they the menu screens are a bit um No, it, it, very, not very misleading, but a bit misleading because it's making it seem like it's a survival game when it just seems to be kind of like an exploration type deal. Um, apparently these people have the flu. That's nice. They're they're telling their patrons to try another pub while they recover. That's very nice. You know, helpful their businesses. Um. Let's see if we can. Oh, we can. Yeah, we can't really. I can't. There must be another way back here because it's it's not letting me through. Um. Yeah, you walk really slow. This, um, I'm trying to build, like, momentum to move a bit faster, not working out very well. It, you still are entirely slow. Um, there's no door handle, even. There's just a lock. That's very unusual. Reminds me of high school, <laughs> seeing Mars for the first time. That same rush of excitement. <laughs> My hands are shaking. Extraordinary. Oh, we don't need to listen to you again. Huh? No, Ex I was trying to see if I can get the book. Um. Where are you going here? Interesting. Really? I don't know. I don't know what the point was going in there. Weasel. Weasel bike. Let's see if I can go in the garage, maybe. Can I grab one of these bikes that are laying around? I'm fucking I'm tired of walking slow. Let's, uh... Let's try the front door by chance. Because you can, like... Quarantine. This area has been quarantined and sealed as per the crisis preparedness of and action bill of 1982. Do not attempt to leave, you will be detained. Do not attempt to telephone outside the local area. Please keep your radio on at all times for further information. Issued by the District Emergency Measures Committee. Oh yeah, yeah, 2006. Uh, so, I don't know if we'll, uh, I haven't fully decided if I want to play Beyond Two Souls yet. Ooh, that's spooky, there's blood. Oh, that's a hard one. That's a 4x4. Four four. I only can do the 3x3s. Three Can't do a 4x4. Four four. But that was a spooky game. I mean, I didn't really try to go in here. Let's see if it'll let me, though. <gasps> I can! I was actually shocked. Imagine if I was playing this with my actual like headset and like trying to Okay, special local fish and chips. Yeah, this seems about right for England. Pub quiz, e curry and pint only twelve pounds. That's not bad. Yeah, all these cigarettes are still smoldering or smoldering. Hail of the day, fifty pence. That's two pounds. Can we go to the bathroom? 
No, we can't. No. 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 It's a motorcycle. Calm down. No. What's that? This is interesting. Stop. Don't go in there either. So, go around here. There's another radio. Stop. Goodness gracious. Keep looking, but it makes no sense. The area we picked the pattern up from can no longer be located on the scope. That's just not possible. You can see significant changes to the quality of the ambient light in that part of the sky. It's overexposed, like a Polaroid left in direct sunlight. Hmm. Interesting. So there's really nothing much you can necessarily interact with besides, like, the radios and or the orbs of light which is fine i suppose i just i never care about parking for customers only they're closed so they shouldn't have any customers i feel very uh strange kind of looking into people's cars not as strange like round You know, they uh, see me as an outsider here as well. Is that supposed to make <gasps> me feel any better? You know, I understand it's difficult. Jesus That's all I'm saying. Christ. Your lot up at Vallis have never mixed with the local community. People here, they don't really understand what you do up there. Are you trying to get me to come to your church? It's not just about faith. It's about the community. Be involved. Be seen as part of it. One of them. <laughs> Good morning, Father. Good day. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh... Mrs. Appleton, isn't it? It's Dr. Collins, lady scientist. Whatever next? Good morning, Barbara. <laughs> Father, you know. You really think that's a community that will ever see me as one of them? I can live with them staring at me. If they just stay out of my way. So, Jeremy is... The, uh, the father, so like a pastor or whatever, um, go in here, these are really pretty gardens, it's really, this is very pretty, this is a very nice pretty game, um, I'm, I'm just very paranoid. Well, I'll just hold on. Um. Well. Oh, there's our flowers blowing in the wind. Okay. Oh, there's people moving. I got panicked. Um. This doesn't, oh, let me go over here. This doesn't really give you much of a, uh, path. Well, I mean, I guess if you follow the, uh, orbs, it does. But, in terms of kind of looking in other places, it doesn't. Oh no, this is coming from this yard. I mean, you can slowly pick up speed. Um, by pressing the R2 button. In here? Yeah. The magnetic field is causing disruptions to phone signals and the rest of the electrics. Oh, the phone is on the line. Maybe everyone is up looking at the light show. 
Oof. It's not a motor oil. Why would you need that much motor oil? Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven gallons. I'm assuming those are just like one gallon things of motor oil. Oh no, my bad. Twelve. I missed one. Why? What was back in the day that took that much motor oil? What's this book? A Spider Butterfly Chaos Theory. And the Bold Now Mathematics? Is that what it's supposed to say? Very pretty book look or uh, very pretty looking book. Um it's a bird feeder. Speaking of we did have a bird feeder we still need to put up. I wonder if we put it up today. I have to find a spot for it still. I'm gonna go this way. Um, I kind of wish I had a map. And I, because I kind of want to know where I have and have not explored. Um, because this seems like quite, not necessarily like a huge area. No, a lot to this area. Shockingly, that at least that I can somewhat explore. Um, part of me kind of wonders if, um, because I'm not necessarily following those orbs, I just I kind of decided to go my own way. Um, I wonder if you get the same amount, like, the same information, um, in the same order, or if the information is at certain places, and I'm not getting the f correct, uh, timeline or whatnot. So I can't go anywhere, um. You have to make a decision, Lizzie, especially now. I do love him, Father. I, I love them both. He's married. There are other people involved in this. Oh, I hardly think that anyone's in a position to claim the moral high ground, do you? Well, I take your point about Stephen. And Robert. But I, I think Kate might see things differently. Do you? I mean, she's not screwing anyone else, pardon my French, but she spends all day and night locked up in that observatory. Stephen says they barely see each other. That's hardly a marriage, is it? Ooh, I don't like Steven. You're not m happy in a marriage. You shouldn't be married. Divorce is an option, whether you think that or not, whether it may be like a religious issue or uh, personal preference. If you are not happy in a relationship, whether, um, you know, maybe they're busy at work or you don't see each other often or whatever the reason is, um, don't continuously drag them along. If you don't want to get a divorce, then you guys need to seek help. You know what I mean? You guys need to work through your problems. You shouldn't cheat or do something like that. And Lizzie, knowing he's married, should not do that as well. Um, because they're both at fault. She knows that. Uh, I kind of want to go that way, but we still have a bit of the town to explore. I don't want to get too lost and miss things, you know what I mean? But yeah, if you know, they're both at fault for that. But if you're not happy in a relationship, you shouldn't be in it. Because, you know, you can end up hurting more people than you think. So. Um. Oh, lady in here. I think they have tennis balls. No one told Willow. She loves tennis balls. It's a writer. Oh, wait. There's a book. Is there a book? There was a book. Ah, uh, it's flipped upside down. I don't know what it is. Okay. These houses have very pretty gardens. I don't think I tried the door. Stupid 
pattern I thought you could go in it. Um, well, I guess when I get done exploring the town, I'll have to try to remember to come back to this brown house. So, this is 37-minute wrong episode right now. I, hmm... I'm not sure how long I will make these, uh, cause I kind of... Oh, Visual and auditory distortions are becoming more frequent. Along with mild convulsions to the left side. All of which support a preliminary diagnosis of intracranial hypertension. Occurring as a result of a substantial and rapidly expanding tumor originating I believe within the hypothalamus cognitive functions are currently unimpaired aside from this crippling headache hemorrhaging is becoming more frequent with darker clots passing through the nasal passages primarily I believe I don't know why, but I started tearing up a little, and I, I don't know why. I think it's like the music mixed with like, yeah, there's so much blood. Oh my god. Is this fucking game gonna give me feels? No! <laughs> I don't want feels. Oh my god, I don't know if it's like, cause like, for all we know, those could have been his last words. That's crazy. Oh wow. Oh, this is a good game. <laughs> I know I've got shit on a little bit. Oh. oh, wow. That's crazy. Oh my god, yes. Okay. I was, I was not expecting to, like, have something like that tear me up. Oh. Okay. Okay, it's okay. Oh, I can't go. Oh, oh I can. Influenza. Oh, because he was talking about how it's certainly not a flu, so he must have came here. This must have been, like, some sort of clinic. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, flu is highly contagious. Do not attempt to travel, obviously. An outbreak of Spanish influenza has been reported in this region. If you think you have symptoms of the flu, stay home and drink plenty of fluids. Very true. In case of emergency, call and contact your local doctor's surgery. So I wonder if, like, this is going to bounce a theory out, um, because, you know, we're supposed to figure out what happened, so, so let's, let's bounce some theories. Um, maybe, and I'm sorry I, I'm adjusting my headset a lot, I'm trying to be able to hear what's going on, but also be able to have a mic in a proper spot. So, maybe everybody kind of thought they were coming down with, like, some sort of flu, and you know, everybody ended up being quarantined, but it's not some sort of flu, it's some strange phenomena that, some of this book has blood on it, that's crazy, there's blood in here, I wonder if it was from the doc, no, there's blood over here too, maybe it's not from the doctor, oh, this is crazy, there's so much blood everywhere in here, oh, wow, <gasps> There's a queue of patients a mile long out there. Just send them to the village hall with the others, please, Bob. Doctor, people are scared. Mrs. Gable just called me and said her husband's vanished. She was very frightened. She said there was blood coming out from his ears and his what nose. What the hell do you want me to do? Until they lift the quarantine, we're not going anywhere. Just tell them to drink plenty of fluids, stay warm, and follow the instructions on the radio. Doctor, 
Phil, please, you have a duty to your patient. No, This game's gonna be good. Oh, wow. So maybe I am not too far off. You know, everybody kind of thought it was some sort of flu, but it ended up being something entirely else. Now, I'm not a uh, religious person. I don't really know much about, like, what happens during a, a rapture. Um, I know, like, uh, what was it, a couple of years ago? There was supposed to be some sort of rapture, and uh, people ended up, <laughs> as a joke, people were uh, leaving, like, just piles of clothes in places. Um, and I, I don't exactly know, like, what happens to you during a rapture, if this is, like, something equivalent to that, like, you know, you start bleeding everywhere, and I don't know. I, like I said, I'm not a religious person, so I don't exactly know what the terms are, <laughs> or, uh, you know, what ends up happening during the rapture. But, um, this is crazy. This is very- this is getting a, to be a very good game. This is a lot of interesting story. It sounds like I can hear anything. But, um, so maybe, you know, we're not too far off. Like, they thought it was a flu, and it ended up, um, being some sort of other- Maybe not like a disease, but almost something equivalent of that. I think we were back here already, were we? We can't even go back here. We might be able to. There's a lot of weird noises also in the background that freak me out. And I keep thinking that like something's gonna attack me. I'm not sure why. Okay, so we're back to, like, the front of the houses. Because there's the pub. And we went in between there, so we were just looking at a full go around. So let's, uh, take a look at these houses. At least I thought I could. I cannot. Yeah, okay. Um, let's take a gander real quick over here at the park. See if there's any bits of information on the, uh, orbs of light talking nothing to raise um so those places over there as well cause we in there um, so let's go back over here, actually. Oh, I think something's happening. Oh yeah, here it is. It just expects you to know what to do now, I guess. Is everything all right? Get out of my way. Where's Kate? Where do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Stephen! Stephen! Huh. Interesting. at that stuff. I just want to make sure we don't miss anything. This bridge lock, so we'll, we'll kind of come and take a gander to these places now. I just want to try to open the doors just in case there's something in there. 
This doesn't really tell you if we can open a door or not. Maybe something up in the door? <gasps> we can. Okay, so this is the first house we can go into. Um, not exactly sure if anything or what exactly I can interact with. I suppose. Oh, I turned on the light. It's just some wallpaper, not very ugly. I mean, wallpaper like that is considered ugly, but it actually looks at least a little decent. Little birds and where to find them. Is that an actual book? Is there's just a small area of the house? Hello? Hello? Oh, where'd you go? Oh, I thought you'd left town. We tried. We really did. Oh, she's bleeding too. We did try. But they've closed all the roads and you can't get through. And, and then Georgie and Ben said they had headaches. And then they started bleeding. And They were so scared. So Neil turned the car around and um, we saw the house was open. And I know we shouldn't have, but we just came in to clean up the kids. And, and then Neil and I started bleeding as well. And it's all over my blouse. They were all so tired. It's all right, Amanda. Everything will be all right. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. Upstairs. They were tired, and Neil said they could take a nap in the bed. And you know, I thought Barbara wouldn't mind if only children. And, and I was so tired, so Neil took them up. He took them upstairs and tucked them in. And? That was six hours ago. I never came back down. Be too. Why don't we go and look together? I can hold your hand if you like. Yes. I think I could manage that, yes. Will you please help me? Of course I'll help you. Neil? Neil, are you there? I just, this game's gonna make me cry. Oh my god! Okay, so we're back at the kitchen. Oh my god. There's blood everywhere. Yeah, there's blood everywhere. I'm guessing it's over. I... I know I should go look upstairs, but I'm almost too scared to. Say no to the Valis extension. Is the seventh tower really necessary? Uh, to register your complaint, add your name to the petition or make your voice heard. Contact Barbara Fo Barbara Foster at the surgery. Okay, so Barbara must work at that doctor's clinic. Um. Oh man, I don't know if I want to go upstairs. I mean, they're obviously not going to be there, but I, this game be trying to hurt my feelings, and, um, I don't know who any of these people are, I don't know who any of these people are, I don't know who any of these characters are, we, we've never even seen their faces, we've just seen gold orbs, and I am, for some reason, extremely attached, this is upsetting, this is sad, I cannot imagine, um, uh, how afraid they must be with all the stuff going on because I mean right now we're going through um, you know a quarantine and a, a, a pandemic and uh, for it to be something like this like a lot of, I know now a lot of people are scared but I can only imagine how terrified these people are oh my lord Is that some sort of sign in the sus game? Uh, we should go to the kitchen. Mm. <laughs> Is 
started crying. Oh. I hate kids. Why am I crying? <laughs> God. We're gonna keep playing this. This is really good. This is a really good game. Oh my god. This is this is a beautifully done game. Oh my god. Why am I crying? Why am I such a little bitch? Oh my god. Ooh. Knocked myself out. It's okay. Okay, um. But yeah, this is- oh, wow. I can only really imagine, like, how terrified these people are. And- so were those two- her kids? The- the kids she was talking about, were those her children? I don't quite understand exactly. It kind of sounded like they were. So I can I can't imagine what she felt with that whole them not coming back down or Neil not coming back down with them. Um it looks like there's another one. I saw, you, I saw you doing that. Go away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so far. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wires. Dear God, when have you lost your mind? Where is Keith? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. No, get off the road, Sam. Stop it. We did our shit. Give it's mine. Give me the Just can. Give me the Grow up! Starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back! Oh Christ! What is? So I mean, obviously, when you spill a can of paint, that's not natural. It's a very pretty design, don't worry. Um, what is he even trying to write? The quarantine shop closed. Sorry, Dave. I imagine we can't go in the shop, um, or the trying. We're doing some tape. Or so said something. gone off for an hour i think this will end up being long videos um just because there's so much um just so much not really a lot of story but there's so much to explore and there's really no it's not really a good decent stopping point um Okay, yeah, so we've been in that house already. There's, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, what's this? Did we, we, we tried the gate. Yeah, that's right. Um, try this garage and this gate over here. Maybe there's something. Um, but yeah, there's like not a really, like, s I mean, like, you know, any. Is that sign move? Oh no, I just- I lifted up. Oh, there's a step. Okay. I thought the game was glitching for a second. Um. There's not really, like, a solid stop point. Um. I think maybe I'll stop this here. We'll, we'll, we'll stop this video right here. I'm gonna keep playing, though. Uh, it's a church. That's a really pretty little church. It's small and pretty. Um, okay. So, 
I'm going to stop this video here so that way it's not too long and not too much of a pain in the ass to either edit or uh, export or upload or anything like that. Um, but this is, I didn't think I would like this game that much. I am shocked. This is getting really good. It, it's going to make me cry. Um, it, it's just, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know who any of these people are. I'm so fucking attached. God damn. This is such an interesting story. We, I don't know what's going on. And it, it freaked me out at first because I couldn't figure out what the hell is happening. I didn't know if there was some sort of enemy and I didn't know if I actually had to collect stuff. Cause I mean, look at the the warnings up here. You know, make sure you have the most safe and best environment in the case of an emergency that may make the difference between life and death. You know, it makes me feel like I'm supposed to be the like surviving some sort of like pandemic or epidemic where I have to be like collecting things to survive, almost like a, a zombie game or something like that. So, uh, I, I, it's two different feels from like the menu to actually being in there and playing the story. So this is really interesting. Holy shit. I didn't think I would actually like this game that much. And I'm definitely going to continue playing it. Um, even when Matt comes home and I'm still playing it, he can, he can suck my dick. I'm, I'm not moving from this spot. I want to... I'm so interested in this game. Oh my god. <laughs> um, so I'm going to stop this video here. I need to get Sandy some water because she spilled hers. But uh, I will see you guys definitely in the next part. Hopefully. Because I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Because holy shit. Um, it's such a simple game too. You're just walking around. There's no buttons other than walking and look. Oh shit. Like walking, looking, and and uh, getting a little bit faster and pressing X. Nothing else. It's such a simplistic controlling. But such a in-depth game i don't know there's like other games are probably like way more in depth but for something so simple that nobody around it's just you and you have to piece this story together it's crazy so i'm definitely gonna play this i i'm almost wondering if i'm gonna end up playing this whole game to the end in this same spot <laughs> so i will definitely see you guys in the next part I'm definitely going to continue this on. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Um, so you guys make sure you stay safe. Make, make sure you stay healthy. Avoid the rapture. You know, if your nose starts bleeding, I'd uh, maybe go get it checked out. Um, so, yeah. I In case someone told you today, I love you and I'm proud of you. And, yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>